Hi everyone, it's Raya. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a binder organizing, setting up for comebacks, uh, general maintenance kind of video. Um, we have a few comebacks to set up for that are all coincidentally in this binder. <laughs> And then we have a little bit of a collection update to make, which I'm really excited about. I was going to full be like really secretive with this, as if I haven't already told you in my last two videos that <laughs> this is happening. <laughs> because I could not contain my excitement. But today we are officially setting up for it and we are officially committing to collecting Le Seraphim OT5. Um, if you can see here is where I am currently up to in terms of what I have on hand or on the way for Anti-Fragile. And then here is where I am up to for Fearless. Um, so yeah, definitely getting there. Um, I'm super excited to collect them and so I've just been like buying their photo cards but I also want to not finish the collection because I love collecting them so much um so yeah <laughs> and then in this binder coincidentally um uh, we have the three boy groups that we are going to look at today um so we have to set up for um P1 Harmony and Tempest's comebacks which have both already happened and then we also have Wavy's comeback to set up for but yeah I think first we are going to start with the Seraphim so I'm not going to be storing any photo cards today although I think I might put one the seraphim set in here and then take it out just to show you my train of thought and like my brain on how i want to set these up um so this binder which you would have seen me haul in my last career proxy video is going to be my new la seraphim and luna binder um so they are both still in here much like they were in my beyond binder but they are now in the new pages that came with this one um to quickly address luna things Obviously, I am super, super saddened by um, Chu essentially being kicked out of the group. Like, we can't put it any differently than that. That is what happened. Um, I, at this point, do not stand with Blockberry at all. Um, and I am going to be so supportive of the girls, no matter what they choose. Um, so whether they do find each other as Luna or if they continue on their own things, um, I will still be supporting them and I will still be collecting Olivia and I will be waiting for whatever she has for us next. But yeah, um, just wanted to throw my opinion out there on that. Um, in terms of the Seraphim, I'm going to be um, double-siding their collection just like I do with Luna to save some space in this binder and keep them in here for as long as possible, but also because I think it'll benefit the OT5 setup better to have things double-sided. So what I mean by that is, this is the one OT5 set that I do have finished for them at this point. It is one of the sets of selfies from the Weverse version of Anti-Fragile. So if we just put it here at the front, imagining that this is where it goes, which is definitely not, um, I'm gonna alternate where the members go on the front or on the back. So on the front of the pages, Chewan is going to be in the very first slot, um, so I'm going to store them later and then um, oldest. And then on the back pages, I'm going to skip this first pocket and Chewan is going to be here, which means that we will see the back of one of the cards from the other set as kind of a filler, if that makes sense. Okay, so this is how the set would be from the front. So then if we imagine that on the back of this set, it would be Taiwan, Sakura, Yunjin, Kazaha, Unte, then this PC would be Yunjin, just imagine that it is. <laughs> Not Taiwan, but it was Yunjin. And then from the front, you would see the back of this Yunjin PC as a filler for the set. And then on here, you would see the back of this Yunjin PC. <laughs> so it's always Yunjin, there you go. You would see the back of this Yunjin PC so that the set behind it makes a filler, if that makes sense. Um, so I figured that would look nicer than um, just having a white filler in. And then we still get to see the backs of the cards because for the most part, 
their cards are all the same on the back except for if they have like a member's name or something which is fine like i don't mind that you'll see Jin's name there and so i think that's going to be the best way to set it up so i'm thinking that i'm just going to put the filler in what will be the blank spot on that page so the first set will be for Felis, it'll be the black petrol version. Um, I'm going to be collecting OT5, but I'm not going to be collecting the monochrome bouquet versions from Felis, just because they're not my favorite set, so I'm not going to collect it. Then Blue Cypher, so that will finish off Felis. And then for Anti-Fragile, we will have the Midnight Onyx version. Then Iridescent Opal and Frozen Aquamarine will be a spread. And then we'll start on the compacts. So the compact versions have four selfie sets. And the compacts are definitely... <laughs> where I have the least finished. I only have um, Kata set finished and I don't have anything else um, because I do kind of want to cry a little bit at the cost of these photo cards. Um, and I know that that is totally because <laughs> I put um, one out of 20 photo cards in the compacts um, because they hate us. <laughs> and that's 100% why people are valuing them the way they are but that still is really annoying to have to to like see their prices for pieces that you know came out of like a digi pack you know but um i'll get them eventually and then this will be a page for the units which i do have all of them on the way and then this page will be for the readers version qr codes And then this last spread will be all of the selfies for the Weavers version. Okay, good. I did put the right amount of pages in. <laughs> Okay, and then so here is my setup for OT5 La Seraphim. You have no idea how excited I am to collect these girls. When uh, I first started standing 17, I never thought that I would find a group that I resonate with and connected to on the same level that I connected with 17. And La Seraphim have 100 percent done that for me and i am genuinely so shocked by it but i'm also just so excited to continue following them because oh just the amount of like love and warmth in my heart for these girls is wild so yeah um this is the first ot collection that i've ever picked up so i'm really 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 excited i hope that you guys are excited to see it fill in because oh i so am <laughs> Okay, then in terms of setting up for comebacks, um, P1 Harmony and Tempest have both already had their comebacks. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you, neither of them are my favorites from them, which is totally fine. Like, not we don't have to be in love with every single title track that our face put out, that is totally fine. Um, for Tempest, their title track is Dragon. Um, I definitely do like it. I don't think it's a bad song by any means, but it is definitely my least favorite of their title tracks. Um, if you uh, vibe like old NCT127 stuff, kind of like, um, which is also coincidentally called Dragon, um, like Kick It and like that kind of vibe is the vibe that I get from Dragon. And I do like the song. I'm throwing it on my playlist, obviously, but um, I definitely connected to um, Bad News and um, Can't Stop Shining more than I did to Dragon. But in terms of the b-sides this album is so cute <laughs> like there are only four songs and then there's the title track and then three of the cutest most fun summer bops that you've ever heard um 
which is interesting um so if you want to just like smile today i would definitely recommend listening to taste the feeling it is such a cute song like there must be like like someone has to do a try not to bop or a try not to dance um challenge to that song because it is just so happy it's wild um but in terms of photo cards for this comeback it is the exact same as we are used to um i do have a majority of um today's cards from their last comeback on hand i just haven't stored them yet because i haven't gotten enough to do a storing video <laughs> So this is gonna seem like it's really empty but i do have them i promise i'm really missing one <laughs> out of these but it is the exact same deal again at this time as it has been for them so for each version there are going to be three regular selfies and then there is also a first press hollow for each version which means four cards per version just like we had here uh, for Tempest and for Pete One Harmony, I unfortunately wasn't able to pre-order their albums, but I will definitely um, get my hands on them through um, Japan, through Akuma, or through Makari, so I have no worries about that. Um, Wavy, I have joined a group order for, so hopefully the group will be able to pull some Yang Yang, that'd be really cool. Um, but for Tempest on and on, we have the green version and the blue version. Um, I was going to make fillers like this. To separate the regular selfies from the hollow but i think <laughs> we know that by now and just to save a little bit of time and to save some paper um i've just written blue version and green version and then we'll just know that the hollow will go here in the corner and so in terms of p1 harmony they have also had their comeback which we will set up for here they came back with their album harmony set in with the title track back down um as for always their music is always top tier like i think if anyone expects a bad song to come out of p1 harmony they are going to be very very disappointed but um like i said before this song has not topped Dum -dum -dum for me that is my favorite title track from them um but yeah as for always a no skip album did we expect any different um so they have honestly kind of the same thing as tempest they've mimicked what they've done in the past we just have three versions now um so they do have the standing photo cards the logo tags and the photo stamps for the versions um which i don't really collect and then for the photo cards they have two selfies per each of the versions and then they have one of the special photo cards per version which is the like character Kind of front and back card like we have here and then for set in there's also a platform version which is the same as last time so the um pvc card and then one selfie so because there are three versions this time and not two for the regular photo books they're gonna have to set this up a little bit differently than i set up their last era so i'm thinking that i'm just gonna mix the versions together to have all of the selfies together and then I'm going to have separate the um, special kind of character cards at the end. So we have the set in version, the step in version and the grow in version. So I'm just going to have set in and step in be the first page. So the two set in selfies here, the two step in selfies here. And then this page is going to be the grow in selfies as well as the entire platform version um the pvc cards for the platform version are selfies as well so that'll look really cute as a selfies page and then i'm just going to put the three um special character cards here at the back and then there will just be a filler here at the end I finally have this card <laughs> i finally have this card can you believe it i can't honestly <laughs> and then very last the back here they don't have a um divider yet because i don't have a spare wavy album um so i will see if i can get my hands on one to do a divider but we have wavy um cannot believe 
that their comeback is finally here kind of wild um i feel like a lot of us had no idea what to expect when it came from wavy um i know that people have their opinions on um a certain member but personally I am more than happy with Wavy to continue as OT6 and I am more than happy to support them as OT6. But yeah, that is my opinion on that. <laughs> um, and so their comeback is called Phantom and as per Wavy, uh, we have a beautiful red motif, very elegant. <laughs> and so the photo book previews and then there are some postcards which i'm assuming my group water manager will sort so hopefully i can get young young and then in terms of photo cards there are just one photo card per version which is awesome because we will be able to finish up this page here so there's one for the overture version and one for the opera version um i do know that they are doing a special chinese press of this album with more photo cards um but i've never collected chinese press for, for wavy before so um I'm just gonna leave it to these two. No doubt I'll see some cute pre-order benefits or like some sort of merch or something that they release alongside this and I will grab some. But for now, I am more than happy to just set up for the two PCs. So there is the Overture version and the Opera version and I'm just gonna pop them here under Yang Yang's Universe Lucky Drawers, which are the last thing I was able to collect for him like a year ago, so. <laughs> I am so 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 excited. It was definitely a little bit of a quicker one today, but I still hope that you guys enjoyed. I hope that you got some ideas on how to set up some of your collections or just enjoyed hanging out with me. That is totally fine. Please, 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 please stay safe, stay healthy. Please remember to eat and drink, and I will see you in my next video. Yes. Oh, no, no. My knees, my knees. Your knees? Uh, <laughs> Live. <laughs> Live. <laughs>